Hi, I'm Mrs. O'Callaghan. I'm a fourth grade teacher in Bennington Public Schools. I'm gonna talk about Nebraska's Capitol today. First, we're gonna start with the outside of the building. There are 48 steps leading up to the north door. This represents the 48 states that were a part of the United States at the time of the construction. It's made of limestone from Indiana. That limestone is no longer in existence. The first two Capitol buildings were also made of a limestone, but they were much weaker and crumbled. This limestone had to be durable to last many years. There are 93 counties that are listed on the outside of the base of the Capitol. Above the doors on the north side, there are pioneers that are going west. Buffalo Bill is the one leading the pioneers. On top of the Capitol is our sower. Our sower is 19 and a half feet tall and weighs nine tons. He's sowing seeds for good crops and good laws. There are also thunderbirds on the top of the dome and on the east chamber doors. We'll get to the east chamber doors later in this presentation. There are three meanings for the Thunderbirds. Tilted wings mean rain, clapped wings mean thunder, and blinked eyes mean lightning. The Thunderbird was a very symbolic symbol for the Native American tribes that lived in Nebraska. Here's some photos to show some of those things we just talked about, like the 48 steps, the pioneers going west above the north door, and you can see our sower on top. Here's a close-up of the sower and those pioneers. Some of the counties are listed in this photo. Here's another angle of the sower. This is a great photo to also show the Thunderbirds. Once you enter the north doors, you'll be in what's called the vestibule. On the front doors, Native Americans and pioneers are represented with different symbols. On the ceiling are mosaics of gifts of nature to man. There's crops and our different seasons of Nebraska. The sun is represented in three different ways in this room, on the floor, the ceiling, and also on the chandelier. The chandelier is made out of 22 karat gold. There are pillars in this vestibule as well. They're made of marble. They're 15 tons each and they're also 25 feet tall. These were shipped from Italy, and these pillars are solid. They didn't come in pieces, it's one solid pillar. At the top, the pillars have bison and corn. The chandelier has 48 light bulbs, 48 also representing the 48 states. The floor is made of marble. Here's a great picture to show the chandelier representing the sun and the 48 states with the 48 light bulbs. There are also arrows sticking out of it which represent the Native Americans. Here's the ceiling. Here's the pillars. On the left, you can also see the floor that's made of marble mosaics. On the right, you can see the bison and the corn represented at the top of the pillar. In the vestibule, there are three paintings that were done by James Penny. The Homesteader's Campfire, the First Furrow, and the House Rising. These three paintings are all done in sunset colors. We are looking at the governor's office. Now I know this doesn't show the office, but we weren't allowed to take photos inside. In the second door on the left is where you'll see the three rooms, the reception, his office, and the media room. Next, we'll go through the Hall of Fame or the Great Hall. There are mosaics hanging up above that were done in 1967. They represent the U.S. survey, the blizzard of 1888, the tree planting for Arbor Day, the first railroad, building of the Capitol, and the spirit of Nebraska. There are also three medallions on the floor that represent the past, present, and future. Here's also the ceiling, lots of other mosaics. In the Great Hall, there's also famous Nebraskans. There are other areas where you can also find famous Nebraskans bust in the Capitol. 
In this hallway, though, we have John J. Pershing, Father Flanagan, Willa Cather, Buffalo Bill or William Cody, John Nyhart, and George Norris. Now we're going to talk about the rotunda. On the ceiling, there are eight angels that represent virtues. Some of these virtues include wisdom, honest, patience, and hope. These are there for our lawmakers to remember when they are creating laws. The chandelier was, was the world's largest at 3,500 pounds. It was the world's largest until Japan built a larger one. It has eight light bulbs that also represent the stars in the heaven. There are murals hanging in the rotunda. One shows laborers of the heart, laborers of the hands, laborers of the head. On the floor is a marble mosaic by Hildreth Meir. It took her seven years to complete. On the floor is Mother Nature, surrounded by four elements necessary to live, water, air, fire, and earth. Let's take a look at some of the photos. There's also prehistoric animals that are on the floor and all their fossils have been found in Nebraska. Here are those eight angels, the chandelier, two of the murals. Now here's the mosaic floor. In the center is Mother Earth and the different elements are around her. You can also see some of those prehistoric animals. In the West Chamber, this is where the unicameral will meet. That's where laws are made for the state of Nebraska. On the back, there's a voting board where you can see all the senators' names and two lights, red and green. Green meaning that they voted yes, red meaning that they voted no. The doors are actually made out of pigskin and they weigh 750 pounds. Most of the time when you visit this capital, these doors will be open. Part of the reason they do that is so that no one touches the doors. We don't want the oil from hands to ruin the pig skin on these doors. So here's inside the unicameral. You can see that voting board in the back. And here's a picture of the pig skin doors closed. Now the East Chamber is obviously on the other side. This is used for special events only. It's never really used that often. It's empty because of the unicameral. When the unicameral became a thing, they no longer needed two rooms. So they decided to use the West Chamber and use the East Chamber only for special events. These doors are carved wooden Indian doors. This is where I said that we would also see the Thunderbird. The last thing we're gonna talk about is the Nebraska Supreme Court room. This ceiling has no nails. It's solid wood. There are acorns on the ceiling. These are there to symbolize hard, tough, durable laws. It is acoustically perfect. It was built to be heard. So anyone that was talking in there, everyone would be able to hear them. There are seven judges, one chief justice and six associate justices. There are desks for lawyers and each lawyer gets 10 minutes to present his or her case. There is no jury in the Supreme Courtroom. And there are three tapestries that are on the wall. This is entering into the Supreme Court room. Here's one of those tapestries, another, and the last one. You can tell that these have really faded over time. There are the two desks for the lawyers, and that is the podium where the lawyers would stand. 
Here's a photo showing where all seven of the judges will sit. The ceiling and the acorns represented. On the back is Bertram Goodhue's crest. He also put equality before the law, which is Nebraska's motto. I hope you enjoyed the presentation of Nebraska's Capital.